welcome back to Chew in the Kitchen. Before we get started, if you like my channel, please hit the subscribe button below and you can log in using any Gmail account. Today we're gonna to be making one of my favorite seafood dishes, a clam bake. I have everything ready, so let's get started. The first step is for you to go ahead and rinse your clams. So let's go ahead and do that. So I wanna rinse them so I get all the grindiness off of them. I'm also checking each clam individually to make sure that none of them, none of them are open. As you can see, sometimes um, some of the clams can open individually. Those ones are not edible and not good to eat. They can make you sick. All right, the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and melt some butter. So I'm gonna add my butter to my Dutch oven. I'm just gonna put it on a medium heat. And then once this is all melted, I'm gonna go ahead and add some garlic and onions. I did chop up about four cloves of garlic and then a half of an onion. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add some white wine to that mixture. And then I'm gonna add some lemon juice. One whole lemon would be good. You can add more or less depending on how you like lemon. And then lastly, I'm gonna go ahead and add my clams to the mixture. I'll stir that in. I'm gonna put a whole lemon in there too, because I like a lot of lemon. And now I'm gonna add in my clams. Once I put all my clams in here, I'm gonna go ahead and add my favorite seasoning, which is Old Bay, because a clam bake needs Old Bay seasoning. I now finished putting on the Old Bay seasoning and adding a little bit more lemon. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on. And I'm gonna let those clams steam for the next 15 minutes or so. How do I feel about dinner tonight? Hmm. Happy as a clam. Really? What? All right, it's been about 10 minutes and I just checked on my clams. And you can see some of them are starting to open up, but there's a lot of them that aren't quite yet. But at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add my shrimp to the bake. You can also add lobster or whatever other types of seafood that you would be interested in in your bake. All right, I just added some uh, obey and some parsley to this mixture. I'm just finishing it up. As you can see, the clams are nice and open and my shrimp look nice and pink and cooked. I added a little bit more Old Bay. Now it's time to eat. All right, this clam bake's done and ready to be devoured. I know Carl's happy as a clam, but please post a comment below and tell me what makes you happy. Please follow me on Instagram at Chew in the Kitchen. I'm going on vacation next week, so I'll see you in a couple weeks.